this video from Casio Help. We're taking a look at setting up cashier assignment alongside Casio Interrupt on the SEC range of registers. So on the machine as standard, there's no cashier assignment. You can log in, sorry, you can process a sale without logging in. And if you try and log in, the till just beeps at you. Um, there is basic cashier assignment on the machine whereby you can force cashiers to log on to process a sale but this isn't cashier interrupt you can't have two sales open at the same time so in this video i'm going to demonstrate how to set up the full cashier assignment and interrupt counterintuitively the first thing to double check is that you haven't got the basic cashier assignment switched on so you can check that by going to the pgm mode go into general setting and checking that enable clerk is set to no if it's set to yes, you need to switch it to no and then come back to the main screen. From here, we can now go to system setting and then there's two steps to set up the functionality that you require. Step one is free subtotal, 2722 subtotal, 1400000 cash subtotal. That has set up the advanced assignment and we now need to set up the interrupt function. The one thing you'll need for the interrupt function is to pick a spare function key that you never use. You won't ever use the button but it will set up the hold function that enables the interrupt to work. The process is for subtotal 06 and then you press the function button that you don't use and will never use so I'm going to choose the price button because I never use that subtotal and then you can turn the key back to the reg mode you should now notice several things different with the way the till operates firstly when you try and put in a sale without signing in you'll get the EO8 please sign on error message so you have to sign on to process a sale when you've got a sale open, you can then interrupt with a second cashier. So the process is a little bit long-winded. So if I've got cashier two open with a sale and then log in as operator one, it does ask me, are you sure you want to interrupt? Which obviously I do. So you have to press this key to confirm that. But you can now go back into cashier one sale cash the sale off without affecting cashier 2's sale. You can then add items to that operator and so on and so on. A word of warning, there is a limitation to how many different sales and how many different transaction lines you can have open. So the system is kind of for if you've got two or three different cashiers with small transaction transactions open it will work but you couldn't have 10 cashiers open with 50 lines of transaction on each one so eventually you'll get a buffering error uh, but yeah that's basically how to set the function up if it turns out that that function's not working for you i've got another video detailing how to switch it all off um, so yeah hopefully that's been interesting and useful if uh, the, check out the other videos that are appearing on screen now you can subscribe to this youtube channel or you can visit casiohelp.co.uk for more Thanks for watching.